you've done a great job on this quadcopter. I'm really proud of you. Look at those great details, camera programming connectors, 3D parts, all the mounts, the lights, the camera. This is just looking just beautiful. So it's time for the power on test, the moment of truth. We need three things for the power on test, a battery, a fully charged LiPo battery, an antenna to connect to our video transmitter so we don't burn it out, and a smoke stopper. I hope you took the quadcopter coach course in how to solder because this was an important project. The smoke stopper works by plugging in the female end into the XT60 connector on the quadcopter and the male end into the battery connector. If there's a problem, this light bulb will flash and burn out rather than your wonderful electronics that you spent good money on. So this can really save you a lot of aggravation and that's why you need the smoke stopper. Start by taking your video antenna and just screw it down simply onto the video transmitter. Doesn't have to be that tight, this is just a test. Next, take the female end of your smoke stopper and plug it right into the XT60. Here's a tip, put your fingernail underneath the bottom and push it down so it doesn't push down like that and then you can just slide it right up and know that it's fully seated on the quadcopter. So now we're gonna take our battery and our XT60 battery connector and we're going to bring them together and count down five four three two one connect fantastic it works look at this we have a sound our beeper is sounding our motors twitched we have our video transmitter blinking I can see the lights here on the flight controller blinking, more lights in the flight controller blinking, the LED lights are all lit up here on back, everything looks great. Here's a tip, take this little piece, take this little piece of foam tape, and there's your buzzer, and just stick it on there. Isn't that better? That's your muffler. Stick tape on, tape off. When I'm working, I like to put the tape on. Makes life a whole lot easier. This is looking fantastic. All we have left to do now is some programming and testing to make sure we got everything right. Shrink down the tubes and mounts our ESCs and put our chairs and tray tables in an upright position and get ready for takeoff. <laughs>